We're going to do our first example here, and we're going to graph this h of t function. Now, I've already have a stuff written down here, but we're going to go over that carefully. Our function is, there's two parts. The x coordinate is 3t squared. The y coordinate is 2t. And we're also given a domain of t values here, which is where the t values come from. All I did was I wrote f and g down right here. So there's f, there's g. <clears throat> f is the x, g is the y. This table of values, if we ignore the y part of this, this looks just like a normal function table where you have an input on the left and an output on the right. The only difference now is this t value is not going to appear on the graph. What is going to appear on the graph is this x value paired up with the y value we're about to find. So we're going to compute the y values now. So all I'm going to do is take the t value and multiply by 2. That's what 2t means. So we got 2 times negative 2. <clears throat> and that's negative 4. Uh-oh. All right, next we got negative 1. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. And 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 1 is 2. And 2 times 2 is 4. All right, I'm going to write down points here. The first point I'm going to write down is the first entry in the table. So these points are going to be x, y values. So our first one is 12, negative 4. And then we have 3, negative 2, 0, 0, 3, 2, and 12, 4. Now in case it wasn't clear where these came from, I'll look at that 3, 2, the 3, and the two came from right there, the x column and the y column. All right, we have five points. We're gonna plot these points here. Looks like all of our x values are positive. Y values go from negative four to four. So because our x's are positive, I'll draw my y axis here on the left. And we're going from four to negative four. So there's y value of four, the other y value we're going to use is 2, negative 2, negative 4. <clears throat> I like to plot them in the order of increasing t value. And as long as you're careful about when you build your table. So these are increasing t value. All right, we'll start. Let's see, we need 12. And 3 for x values, there's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, first point, 12, negative 4. That's down here in the lower right. 3, negative 2, over 3, down 2, right here. And 0, 0, that's the origin. Now 3, 2, over 3, up 2. And 12, 4 is unfortunately right where I wrote all this stuff. <clears throat> I'll just erase this. I already have that written down. All right, 12, 4. Okay, so these are the five points. We do need to connect them together. It's gonna look like a parabola. The order we connect them is important. I'm again starting from the smallest t value which correspond to the point 12, negative 4. Connect it over to the next point, to the next, next, and next. What you should not do is go beyond, because our t value stopped right here at 2 and negative 2. They didn't go past them. So you do not extend these past the endpoints, because this t interval ends. There's one more thing we have to do, which is orient the line and to give it an orientation. And you're going to draw these arrows on. So these are increasing T values. And that's all there is to graph. Sometimes you're going to see the word parametric equations. And if you see the word equations instead of function, all that means is pull the two um, parts of the function apart. So we got X equals 3T squared, Y equals 2T. 
That would be the parametric equations that correspond to the graph we just drew and correspond to the parametric function right here. So the equations and the functions uh, represent the exact same phenomenon. It's just written in a slightly different format.